This time, there is a lady suffering from a rash on her face in the eyes region. We do not know her Ayurvedic type, however, she wrote down her 10 days menu, what exactly was she eating, drinking and when. For better insight, it is going to be her diet in the month of September. So let's look at her menu from the Ayurvedic perspective and see if we can discover possible causes of her issues. Day number one, she starts with her breakfast at 7.40, having two slices of bread with buttery spread and hard cheese, green tea and white coffee. At 9.45, she has a snack, bread roll with buttery spread and ham, coffee with milk. Lunch comes at 12 sharp, she has pork schnitzel with potatoes, pickled cucumber, orange juice and dessert. Half past three, another snack, two rolls with buttery spread, cucumber, fruit tea. And at 6.15, she's having a dinner, like cooked potatoes with butter and milk and raisins. Let's highlight the mistakes she does and elaborate on those in detail. First mistake is a wrong food selection for the breakfast. Breakfast is a time of a day ruled by regulator Kaffa, specifically from 6 to 10 a.m. The three regulators have their qualities and their needs. Golden rule of Ayurveda says, what the three elements need is the exact opposite of what they are, I mean their qualities. Remember it well. The properties of kapha are heavy, cold, wet. And what kapha element needs is the exact opposite, light, hot and dry. Butter and cheese are heavy to digest food, hence inappropriate for kapha, which does not have the capacity to digest it properly. Digestive fire is at its minimum in the morning. Agni works exactly the same way like the sun, strongest at the noon, weakest in the morning, and medium strength around 6 p.m. This means that you can still have your butter and cheese, but not for breakfast. The snack at 9.45 and half past three is another mistake. Ayurveda preaches three meals per day and nothing in between, especially not heavy to digest items. By eating heavy breakfasts and snacking, you overload the digestive fire, which has to burn stronger than it should. A snack moves the food that had already been in the digestive tract further, but it moves sooner than the body could process it, hence the digestive tract must increase the volume of fire in order to fix it. A long-term increase of fire caused by snacks and rich breakfasts results in nothing but inflammatory diseases of the digestive tract, including Crohn's disease, celiac disease, ulcerative colitis or heartburn. What else do you expect if you heat like crazy? Snacks and heavy breakfasts also cause inflammatory skin diseases, which is probably the case with Our Lady. Day 3. Again, buttery spread and ham, which are not suitable for breakfast, but okay for lunch or dinner. Snacks at 10 and 4. And here we have another mistake, dinner at half past 6, which is too late. Another rule of Ayurveda says, your last meal of a day should be before 6. After this time, body has another work to do, repairing and recovering. But if you eat after 6, recovery cannot take place. Occasional failure doesn't matter, but if it is long term, you will have to pay for it. Here we have the day 4 and the same repeating mistake. And similar are all other days of her menu. To sum it up, Rich breakfasts and snacking overstimulate your fire and if you keep on doing so, you may pay for it in a form of inflammatory diseases in your digestive tract or on your skin. Namaste. If you were interested in a food manual for the Ayurvedic type from this story or other type or all types, please contact us by email. Each such manual divides food into the categories of vegetables, fruits, grains, legumes, dairy products, meat, herbs and spices, nuts and seeds, oils and fats, sweeteners and food supplements. Within each of these categories, you will find suitable and not suitable items for a given type. Remember, in Ayurveda, suitability is always before the quality.
At the end, there is a brief summary of the recommendations for this type. Thank you very much and Namaste.